I'm going to very carefully using peyotones and microsurgical instruments, preferably, reflect this as long as I have bone, underlying bone. Where I don't have any underlying bone, what I'm going to do, since I know that there is a cyst that is connecting the inside to the inner flap to the outer flap, and this area is very, very thin, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by reflecting the papillas and the attached gingiva. And this is the type of movement that I need to do. I need to uh, have a support and feel the support of the bone. I need to lean on the bone, but then I'm going to make a lever movement trying to displace the flap by these movements, these lever movements. So I'm not touching the tip of my instrument, it's not touching the flap. I'm leaning on the bone, which is the part of the uh, area that is protected, that is more stable. So at this point, once I find the area where I have the very thin buckle flap, I want to preserve and avoid any dehiscence and any fenestration and any tearing of that flap. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to divide the outer flap from even the inside granulation tissue. You all know that as long as that granulation tissue is not affected, or infected, I can keep it at the most, uh, at the inside of the flap in order to gain some thickness of the flap. So at this point, what I'm doing, now I'm using a specific kind of a chisel, it's not a chisel, it's not a, a back action, it's a peritome uh, or a periostotome that is curved and I am scratching the bone. That outer part of the bone, there is no bone there. It's protected because I'm using a curved instrument, so I'm not basically touching the flap and I'm not pushing the flap, so there's no way to tear the flap. And then I'm going to try to use a curette to remove the cyst. When the cyst is encapsulated, the good thing is that as long as you lean on the bone and you touch the bone, you're going to be able to remove that cyst and not to scratch the cyst. So at this time, I'm using the bone to connect with the outside of the cyst and in this case is completely encapsulated. I'm going to remove the cyst and even though it comes out completely in one piece, I need to make sure that there are not remnants of cyst in the area where I'm going to graft or I'm going to place my implant.